today is a new moon and I think this is the perfect time to reintroduce my new moon routine because it's been about two years since I've done one. The last time I did one, I was living alone. I was heartbroken. It was like a very sacred ritual to me. And if I'm being honest, I haven't done it in a couple months because I was very spiritually out of alignment for a while and I just did not have it in me to do my routines. I wasn't doing my full moon, my new moon. I was barely journaling, I was barely meditating. And now finally I'm back to doing my routine and it feels good to even like say that again. So I wanna share that with you guys today. It consists of a lot of reflecting, journaling, meditating, some stretching, hydrating, eating, cleaning. Feel free to follow along. I also have a full moon worksheet and a new moon worksheet. It's pretty much a guided two page PDF that outlines what you gotta do and what you need. Everything you need to know about a new moon ritual or full moon ritual, whichever one you purchase. There's a bundle as well. Um, it also has guided journal prompts, affirmations, and tarot spreads that will help you. So if you're interested in that, feel free to check out my Etsy. They're really cheap, they're like $3. So yeah, check them out if you want. So yeah, I'm gonna put some music on to get in the mood. And we're gonna start this new moon routine. One of the most important steps of my routine is cleaning. In order for me to be able to center myself, declutter my mind, and be at ease, my space needs to reflect what I am trying to achieve through meditation and things like that. I cannot try to center myself and, you know, silence my thoughts when my space is a loud, chaotic mess. So I definitely work hard to make sure that my place is spotless. And as you see, all these bags are all over the couch. These are things that I'm actually getting rid of. I think it's important to declutter and get rid of things. A new moon brings about a lot of change and in order to make room for this change to occur, you need to cleanse your space and declutter. After I clean, I get really hot, so I need to shower right away. I imagine that the water is cleansing me and I kind of meditate in the shower and once I do that, I get ready for the day. Next thing I do is I have a full meal. I cannot focus on meditating if I'm hungry. I can't focus on writing if I'm hungry. I can't do anything if I am hungry. So I make sure to have a full breakfast. I mean, I try to eat kind of clean, but I was craving sausage. So I had like a sausage hash brown and like scrambled egg combo. I don't really know how to explain. It. I just like mix it all in a pan and it was really good. Part of my routine that's really important to me is cleansing my space and my own energy. I typically use uh, sage, but the thing is, I put all my spiritual tools in storage for a while. I'm gonna talk about that in the video. So all I have right now is Palo Santo and incense. So I just cleanse myself and my space and I do counterclockwise circles to clear out the energy. And I usually say out loud, like I'm releasing all energy that no longer serves me or something similar to that and I just repeat it and I invite my spirit guides to just kind of be here with me and be present with me, protect me, guide me and I just kind of talk to them as I cleanse my space and then I get more into like the meditation and the journaling. So at this point, I usually like to set up my space. I'll put my journals out, my tarot cards. Normally I would put all my crystals out, but I'm trying to work on detaching myself from spiritual tools. So I don't really have them around right now. I just have some angel figurines and stuff. But yeah, I like to set up my space, put some incense and get really cozy in my room because I, I don't know, I just think it's important to feel really comfortable and warm in the space that you're in when you're trying to connect with yourself. Then I usually listen to some music and I cleanse myself. And at this point, I would typically meditate and then journal. I think meditation for me personally is important to do before journaling because it kind of allows me to get my thoughts in order in a way. So yeah, I cleanse myself and then I get right into the meditation. So typically wherever I feel like needs unblocking in my body, I would hold that point of my body, so chakras. I'm holding my heart chakra right now because I feel it needs 
a little bit of unblocking and it needs to be aligned. So I like to focus on that for a little while as I'm meditating and I kind of go through each energy point on my body uh, depending on how I'm feeling that day. So yeah, I focus on the heart and I did a lot of my meditation off camera if I'm being honest. I typically turn the camera off and then do it again because it's really hard for me to focus and get centered when there's a ring light and camera on me. Um, but yeah, so after that, once I clear my thoughts, I decided to start journaling and I start writing whatever I'm feeling. If you need help with journal prompts, then once again, I do have a journal prompt worksheet and I have a new moon worksheet. So check that out linked below. So in case you're wondering like what my process is, I have two journals here. I have two. Um, one of them is the Year of Growth Journal by Dreamy Moons. It's fucking amazing, I love it. Uh, the thing is with this one is like the daily like lines that you have there are pretty small so um, you can't go like super super in depth on certain things. I mean I love that they have like guided um, entries for example like the new moon ones. I love that. That's obviously what I use but a lot of them for example are like this where it's just like okay Sunday blah blah blah. It's pretty small. So I write out my feelings and thoughts in this one. So that's more of like a daily journal, how I'm feeling, checking in. This one's more like what my thought process is, what I'm struggling with, and it's just like empty pages that I just write through. So that's why you saw me with two journals. And then I do a little tarot card spread. I use the Bitty Tarot deck, which I love. I got it from Urban Outfitters. <laughs> I spilled juice on it. Fun fact, I actually um, lost these. Weirdly enough, I had a deck of tarot cards that I purchased for pretty cheap and because they were so cheap I sold them for like what they're usually worth which is like 20 bucks and I paid like six dollars for them. And I sold them for 20 on Facebook Marketplace and the guy that I meet up with to buy them, he had never tried to negotiate but in person he's like, can I buy them for 12? And I was like, no, like I sold them from selling them for 20. If he wanted to negotiate, we should have done that online. Anyways, long story short, we went back and forth and like it was like the principles to me. I didn't like that he like put me on the spot. Had he asked me online, I would have said yes, I would have, but I just, I don't know, I just didn't like it. So I sold it to him for 17, okay? I walked away and I felt so bad. I was like, why the fuck did you sell it for 17? You should have just sold it for 12 like he asked. You only paid $6, you're being greedy. I felt so guilty about it. I felt so guilty. And then since that day, I lost my tarot deck. I couldn't find it anywhere, anywhere. When I tell you I was tearing my room apart four times a week, trying to find my tarot cards, and that was my only pair because I sold my backup one. So I was just like, wow, wow, that's karma, huh? Like I felt like the universe was like, I don't know, maybe teaching me a lesson, I'm being greedy because I bought them for $6. I didn't need to sell them for $17. And I was really disappointed in myself. And as soon as I walked away from him, I wanted to call his name, but I didn't know his name. So I was like, fuck. So yeah, I lost them for about a month, two months, I think. And I just found them the other day because I purged and I finally acknowledged the lesson um, of the tarot cards and I talked to some people about it and finally acknowledged the lesson and you know I found them and they were in a spot that I checked a hundred times I don't know how I missed them I guess it was it was just not the right time but yeah so that's a fun fact so I don't know if anyone's wondering what I'm listening to but usually I either listen to like feel-good music with like lots of positive affirmations in it or I'll be listening to sound bowls so I really like what is the channel I don't know, but I'll put it down below. I think it's like Healing Vibrations or something like that. And I listen to like uh, whatever chakra I want to focus on. A sound bath that like resonates with that point of your body. Um, also throughout my whole routine, it's very important that I'm just drinking so much water. I think it's a really good cleanse because obviously you're constantly peeing, detoxing. Um, so I drink a lot of water. I usually drink quite a bit of water, but usually during like new moons and full moons. I don't know, I like to like really drink it, especially if it's moon water, then I like to leave it out. I can't really do that anymore now though because I don't have a balcony. But yeah, I got a refill, so. So at this point, I would normally put like a fake fireplace on YouTube, snuggle up with a book. Right now I'm reading The Power. I mean, in this video, I'm fake reading. I won't even lie to you. Look at me blankly staring at the, <laughs> the page. I just, I read in real life, but just in the video, you know. Anyways, yeah, I read like a motivational, inspirational, spiritual self-help book to get me in the right mindset. And at that point after, I would usually do a guided meditation, like a new moon meditation on YouTube or self-love hypnosis. And at that point, I'm normally done my routine. I would go to bed, have a beautiful sleep, wake up feeling refreshed and energized, and it's a great time. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it inspired you in some way. Thank you so much for watching. And once again, I have everything linked down below if you are interested. Happy new moon, guys. Make the most of it. Love you and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.